Welcome to my vlog. The fan is on because it's hot in here. I'm just gonna start vlogging, I guess. I'm gonna record stuff that happened to me throughout the week. And then I'll post them on my channel at the end of the week. Right now, well, first off, yesterday. You can't tell from this frame, but I actually cleaned my room. <laughs> uh, you should have seen it before. It was pretty bad. That's Maya. Brrr. I also hung up some more pictures on my crooked wall of pictures. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing now is ignore this. I should really clean that up. A couple years ago, I purchased 3D printed and built this 4x5 camera called the Standard 4x5. <clears throat> you can look them up. They're real. <laughs> and uh, I never got to shoot it. This glass, the ground glass, by the way, snapped in my hand as I was putting it in here. Because the... Uh, these were left out in the sun or something, and they got warped, and I guess they shrank. Any hoozles. I built that camera, and then I never shot it because I never had film for it. Then for Christmas, three months ago, I got a Amazon gift card, and I finally bought some HP5 in 4x5. But you can see I've disassembled the camera because... I was going to make it out of wood. And then when I found that to be too hard, I was like, wait a minute. I just recently disassembled 10 gallons worth of Legos. So I'm going to make it out of Lego instead. So, uh, that's what I got going on right now. I got my Pentax. That also has HP5 in it. So yeah, I'll just be watching Drawfee. Hopefully rebuild, no that's a seashell, don't look at that. Hopefully rebuilding this out of Lego. I got the main part, I've got the ground glass, which is a necessity. I got the bellows, which are a necessity, and I got a holder, a film holder, which is a necessity. So I, I've got all the main things I need to build around. I think the issue will just be tolerances. That's for soon-to-be-future me to figure out. Since I'm here, and you're not, can I set this up here? I have no idea what frame you're seeing. Well, now I know you're seeing the ceiling. <laughs> okay. I'd like to address some changes, I think, that I'd like to make with this camera. First off, this is the film-slash-glass-holding plain. Uh, this also doesn't really fit because it got warped, but essentially the film holder goes in there. You can very, oh wait, I have it locked, I think. Yeah. Ow. Okay. Film goes in here. You pull the dark slide out, take the picture, slide it back in. And then you remove it. And then you can slide the glass plane back into here. And then you can focus up for another shot or whatever. Now, I've seen this on some other cameras, and I think it's a cool feature that I'm going to try and build in. Where you can shoot horizontally like this, or you can take this entire plate and spin it so you can shoot vertical. And I think that's a really cool, like, without disturbing the rest of the camera. And I think that's a really cool feature. So I want to either try and build a spinning function into it, or just have two separate, like, places that this can clip in here or it can clip in vertically, you know? Uh, so that's something I'd like to try and build in. But we'll see how that goes. Whew. 
here's the thing. Uh, this technically works. Like, it can slide in and out. And it's super sturdy. And it doesn't cover up the film plane. But this... 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 This cannot hold. I have these little spacers in here to keep it in place, otherwise it's slightly too wide. But I'm gonna need to rethink this design. Alright, turns out I'm officially a genius. I slightly redid the things. And now this slides in perfectly fine. There's only a little bit of wobble. But, if I flip it over, it is perfectly like even on all sides whereas before it was like pushed down much further so this is a smarter design i'm a genius it slides in there's a little stop there's very little wiggle room in any direction it is perfect whoop whoop well you'll have to believe me that it's Perfectly good. <laughs> it's good stuff. Oh, I remade the ground glass holster. I also taped the glass back together. You know, scotch scotch tape is the ground glass of tape. Now I just need to refine it and make sure it can fit into that slot. Okay, so I have it so it can successfully accept and unaccept the film plane, film holder rather, and the ground glass. And the glass is sturdy enough. I'm gonna add a little... Like, there's a little space underneath these little holsters. I'm going to try and slip a piece of rubber in there so the glass can't maneuver around. But other than that, I can't believe this is working. Little Maya here is not feeling so hot. I uh, came in here earlier. I think she's got a bit of an intestinal blockage. She threw up a couple piles of what looked like reddish gravy. And uh, I've taken her out a bunch of times. She can't seem to go to the bathroom. Other than that, she seems fine. She's still... Well, I mean, she's just laying there. But, uh... Like she was out there earlier, she was trying to play with the other dogs and stuff, she seemed fine. I'm hoping the worst of it is over and she's alright. Because I called an emergency vet and it's going to be hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, to have her be seen. Like it was 175 just to be seen. And I have $60 to my name. So I hope she's good. But it is causing me to have a bit of a panic attack. I uh... I have antidepressant slash anti-anxiety medicine. But I already took that this morning. But I'm feeling it. So I'm just trying to center myself, I guess. I think she's going to be okay. Because I don't have the money to fix her. Also, I've had no alcohol tonight. Which, as an alcoholic, is a good thing. Because I'm trying to stop. So, consider this day one for the millionth time.
good. Things seem normal. She seems good. Maybe she didn't throw up red gravy. Maybe it was diarrhea because it looked an awful lot like what came out of her this morning. Uh, she seems fine and happy now. So that's good. Although, I have been having severe anxiety about it all day. And now, even though I know she's good, I'm still, like, super nauseous and stuff. It's the first time I've heard her drink something since last night. It is 5 p.m. today. <laughs> That's good. Uh, but yeah, I, I want to get rid of this anxiety feeling. I already took my meds this morning. But it won't go away. So I was looking at what I have so far versus the original piece. And I realized I don't need the top of this structure. I can just implement these little clips like this one has or something similar to it to hold the piece in place. And by doing that, I can tighten up some tolerances, especially the wiggly kind. Because when this is in that, I mean, there ain't no wobble anywhere on this bad boy. So I'm just going to iterate again. And as you can see, I've made a much more elegant solution. Can still slide the boy in there. This is much easier to do with two hands. And there's much less vertical wobble. The only problem is now it's very slidy in that one direction. So I'll need to add some sort of clip system to hold it in. But much more elegant. What are you looking for? All right, day two, no alcohol, about to go to sleep. For those of you who don't know, picture a bottle of wine, a regular everyday 750 milliliter bottle of wine. Now, in place of that wine, fill that with 40% alcohol rum. Uh, I would drink pretty much that entire bottle every night for the last seven years. So, uh, you know, day two without that is probably something. The longest I've gone in the last seven years was a week or two ago. I went seven days and then I was stupid. <laughs> it was like, hey, let's celebrate with a little drink. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. I got very little to no sleep last night because of this little dig dug. And boy does my head hurt. So hopefully I can sleep tonight. Which without alcohol doesn't go so well. <laughs> I usually wake up like a hundred times a night. So we'll see. I'm only going 65, okay? Calm down. Uh, I'm gonna drop this order off at a customer's house. Oh shit, I got two orders. These two orders off. And then I'm gonna go and take a picture of a zoo that is closed. And is probably also horrible to their animals. So as you can see, I'm gonna be shooting that. Also there's a dinosaur over there that I'll be shooting. And also there's a bug right here. I got the round frames in the Polaroid, so I'll shoot that. Oh yeah. They're not done developing, but I'm just surprised they turned out, because the light meter on this camera is terrible at best, but cool. You can see it's a zoo, and then there's a dinosaur over there. I also took the same shots, except 
more centered because it's a TTL camera instead of a uh, freaking rangefinder, which I hate. Uh, with my Pentax Botmatic on HP5. So when I develop those, you'll probably see them too. Also, while waiting for orders, I've been playing Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. And... Apparently, I'm 75% through the map, so I guess I'm almost done. Day 3. I think. No alcohol? I'm even drinking... Peppermint tea? Which I never do. I... Streamed a bunch of the Guardians of the Galaxy game. And then I played a game of Carcassonne with my friends. And... That's pretty much all I did today after work. It's almost 11 o'clock, so I guess good night. I am ounces away from finishing this game. And yet I still haven't gotten an order today. They don't call me the winner of games for nothing. That was a good one. Aria of Sorrow? Castlevania? Get yourself a wooden Game Boy. I'm about to I'm about to start my newest and biggest cross-stitching project. Look how long this thing's gonna be. Whew. It's gonna look like this picture right here by this name right here from Dishonored. It's one of my all-time favorite paintings. And it's gonna take forever to do. Alright, so. Don't worry, those are regular Chico's, not bottles of beer. So this is how many stitches I got done today. Just 30. Not a lot, I grant you. But look at it in the grand scheme of things. Oh. Practically nothing. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun one. Oh god, I'm dying. I realized earlier that I didn't really record much of anything yesterday. And also today is over, and so there's even less recorded for today. So let me catch you up. Yesterday was the North Carolina primaries. I voted. And then I also didn't drink. So that was day four, no alcohol. Then... I also had a bunch of peppermint tea, which I guess is a thing I do every night now. Uh, and I've just been playing Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy a lot. And after today, I only have one, one more session. There's three chapters left. And I'm excited to be finished with the game because it's an excellent game, and I want to see how it finishes. Uh, this game has blown me away. It's now right up there with some of my most favorite games of all time. This is how a video game should be made. It is very good, very funny, very well written, acted excellently. If you enjoy the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, Get this 16-hour Guardians of the Galaxy movie. <laughs> it's so good. It is very, very, very entertaining. Anyway, day five, no alcohol. I guess you could watch it on my other channel where I post my game videos. It'll be up there soon, I imagine. That's what it's called. Avocado toast, anybody? I guess I'll go on a stupid walk for my stupid mental health. I also took that picture a couple minutes ago at a stoplight. I gotta walk like three quarters of a mile before I even get to the part where I'm technically started the walk. 
I've got my Pentax Spotmatic, and I've got my Polaroid Now Plus, I think. Who cares? Now, I'm going home. Thank you, phone. Well, as you can see, I'm currently uploading the entire playthrough of Guardians of the Galaxy. I loved that game. It was incredible. Also, I think I'm starting to not like the peppermint tea anymore. Or maybe it just needs more tea bags. Six days alcohol free. Hooray. Long time Longtime viewers of this video that you're watching now will know that a couple days ago I finished Aria of Sorrow and I felt like I played that game forever. I think I was like six or seven hours or something by the time I beat it. I'm only an hour 40 in to Harmony of Dissonance and I've already gotten over half the map. This game must be incredibly short. So I was sitting here playing, blah blah blah, now I'm at 85% of the map, and I, I keep getting stuck and not knowing where to go, because, like, there's a ton of locked doors everywhere, so I keep looking up what to do online, and it keeps talking about switching castles, which I... I guess I kind of knew going in there was more than one castle. Or like they were sort of like mirror dimensions. But I thought every time I went into one of the little yellow teleporters it was taking me to a different castle. Until I realized they were still starting all to connect to the one map or whatever. So I was like, how on earth do you get to the other castles? Apparently when you go to the teleporter rooms, instead of hitting up to go into the teleporter like every single door ever you have to hit down and it'll go to a different castle otherwise you just teleport to a different part in the same castle but the game never tells you that so how are you supposed to know that unless it did tell me that and i didn't know so here we go i'm at a teleporter 85.6 percent of the map instead of hitting up to teleport which just takes you to a different teleporter on the map. Now I'm, where am I at? Now I'm at this bottom one. So instead of hitting up, what? I was told you hit down and it works. How does this work? Do I have to why? How do I go in? Why? If this doesn't freaking work this time. Now I'm in this top teleporter room where I just met death before coming back down to this teleporter and trying all the different things to go to the different castle. Apparently you're supposed to press up on this portal, but I'm not only pretty sure that I did that, but also... Like, it clearly looks like it's locked. Okay, but now it works. Hey. Old games can be so obtuse, and it's annoying. Also, this guy's name is Just. What the hell kind of name is Just? Also, another thing I don't understand is what the hearts are for. Because usually, in the older ones anyway, hearts are for using your sub-weapons. Like right now, I've got a Bible as a sub weapon, but then the blue bar is also your magic. So if I use a sub weapon, oh, wrong button. Like you can see, I did the spell, but the hearts didn't go down, but the magic did. So I don't know what the hearts are for in this one. All right, I don't remember if I've told you this or not yet, but I'm working on a game, so. What I'm doing now is I drew out a basic plan for the level layout, and now I'm going in with the themes of the level, 
and trying to fill those slots with things <laughs> that fit the theme, I guess. So this is a potions sort of themed level. So we got all kinds of like beakers and alembics and mortar and pestles and knives and things. And then we got a little slug. So we got like potion ingredients and tools and we got bubbles and we got all kinds of things for the player to jump around on and try and use to get around the level. Well, you can't see me, but I can see you. And I just wanted to say, it's been seven whole days. Alcohol free. One week represent. And, uh, thanks for watching my first weekly vlog, I guess. Maybe there will be more interesting things next week. Or, well, this week. <laughs>